We are following breaking news out of New Mexico. Just moments ago, the armorer on the set of the film Rust was sentenced to 18 months in prison. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed was found guilty last month of involuntary manslaughter in connection to the 2021 killing of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. NBC News correspondent Dana Griffin has been following this case and joins us now from Los Angeles. So, Dana, first, what more can you tell us about this sentencing and what it exactly did we hear in court today? Well, Zinclay, part of the sentencing may have been the jail conversation recordings that were released. And also, the judge noted that she never once heard Hannah Gutierrez-Reed say she was sorry. She said, instead, it was your attorney who said that you were remorseful. Here's some of the things that Hannah Gutierrez read when she spoke for the first time in court, begging the judge to not give her more time. She said her heart aches for the Hutchins family and that she called Helena Hutchins an inspiration to her. She says, I'm beyond grateful that director Joel Souza survived that terrible day. But she also said, quote, I am saddened by the way the media portrayed me as a complete monster. And never once did she say, I am sorry for my actions, not checking those dummy rounds that that ended up having a live round mixed in that ultimately resulted in the death of this victim. We heard from several family members and friends of Helena Hutchins who talked about how much she was an inspiration to her. Listen to what her talent agent also said. I am confidently stating that the death of my daughter was caused by systematic gross violations of safety rules and regulations during filming of the movie Rust. I do not wish for revenge, but believe that each person responsible for the death of my Helena needs to carry the punishment that is equal to their guilt. So that statement that was just read by the family's attorney actually came from Helena Hutchinson's father, who, as you just heard, said he does not wish for revenge, but he wants her to receive the sentence that she deserves, which in this case, the judge decided 18 months in prison. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.